Hey, First Baptist Church Allen family. Jimmy Smith and I were visiting about this every year for over 20 years that we've been serving the Lord together here. On Palm Sunday, we have celebrated the Lord's Supper together as a church. So we started thinking, okay, it's Palm Sunday coming up this week, and how are we gonna celebrate the Lord's Supper? Now, it would be possible, I suppose, that all of you could get on uh, Amazon quickly and order your own silver tray with your own uh, little plastic cups and your own little unleavened breads. But that might be a little complex. We want to do this, we want to do it well. We're finding we can do a lot of things in simple ways to continue to keep our church connected and carry forward our mission. Jimmy's gonna tell you how we can do that this Sunday as he leads us in celebrating the Lord's Supper. Yeah, I'm excited about this Sunday and being able to share the Lord's Supper with you in this different way. A couple of things we need you to do. The first one is this, is just make sure you have uh, the elements. Now you don't need to get the, the, the official what we do at church, but just whatever you have at home. If you happen to have some grape juice uh, and, and some bread, that, that'll be perfect. But if you don't, that's okay. Don't worry about that. Because remember, these are just symbols of, of, of a truth that we are we're remembering uh, and that we are a part of. Because we're, we're thinking about Jesus and his shed blood and his body on the cross. And we're using this as a way to remember. That's what the Lord's Supper is about. It's about remembering the sacrifice that Christ made for us. So make sure you have those ready for you, for your family uh, on Sunday. And, and we'll talk about it uh, before we uh, before we actually do it together as a church family online. So just be, be prepared for that. The other thing is to just get yourself spiritually prepared. Just be thinking uh, about uh, the cross and, and maybe reading different scriptures in the gospels uh, where it talks about the, the cross. And uh, just get your heart ready for this Sunday. It's not something we just want to come in and just do and make light of. It's something that we really want to take serious. It's a sacred moment and a sacred opportunity for us to, to share this together. Again, I know we're physically distant, but we're staying spiritually connected. So I'm looking forward to this Sunday uh, being with you and sharing the Lord's Supper. And we're going to be talking and uh, continuing our series on victory. And this week it's called Victory Through Surrender. Hey, thank you for continuing to be generous. So we appreciate you giving faithfully. And in this time, I know some of you are uh, great difficulties right now, but those of you who are able to continue to give, please do. We want to continue to carry out our ministry. We're caring for a lot of people in the city, so many lives impacted by all the changes and uh, the difficulties that have come with those changes. We want to be found faithful to care for one another in this time. We want to continue to reach out to, because one of the things that we committed to as a church is we don't want to just sit where we are and hold on until whatever normal is comes back. We want to take ground for the kingdom there in this time. And so we're reaching out. Our groups have been multiplying. We've had record attendances in our groups in these last couple of Sundays. We continue to see people who've been far from God for a long time, who are coming and joining in, people who are joining us in our worship hours. Please, please just continue to give. You can do that by giving online. Go to our website. There are tools there. You can set up an ongoing gift uh, through bank draft. You can drop off an offering envelope here at the church. Uh, mail it in to us. Uh, continue to give. And thank you for being a generous people. We're still seeking to reach not only our city, but our world for Christ. And what we give goes far and wide. Thank you for being such a people. God bless you this day.